might be a little weird right now, but you got my webcam here and then you got my phone right here. And I'm going to show you today how just using your phone, how to make custom emotes that can be used for Twitch, YouTube, <laughs> two cameras, ah. <laughs> for Twitch, YouTube, and for Discord and whatever else you want to do. We're going to jump on in short, fast, easy method. Let's go. Hey, nice to meet you. My name is Broadband Link. Just want to let you know what this channel is all about really, really quick. I am a live streamer. I like to play video games and do tutorials online as well as memes. With that being said, let's jump on into the video. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys that I am legitly doing this on my phone. That's why we're kind of like doing the dual recording as opposed to doing that weird blur effect that they do. Because why do that when, when you got the technology and you could do the cool thing? <laughs> Two different angles. All right, I'm done being 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 funny. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna close out my camera. All right, this is what my phone looks like. In case everybody's wondering, it's like, wow, you can like totally. I'm gonna try to show you guys how to do everything, right? So first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna open up our picture, right? And you know, I recommend taking a picture that has a solid background that you can use. Use a green screen, blue, white wall, whatever. Just just something that's that's solid, but I happen to have a green screen, so we're gonna use a green screen. So let's just say we want to make this funny. And then that picture is what we want to use for our emotes, right? So check this out. So now I'm gonna go here. We're gonna use an app that I like that's called Background Eraser, and I'll put links to these in the description. All right, guys, so we're gonna load a photo. We're gonna do my goofy picture. <laughs> See, right here. Um, I'm going to kind of just minimize this a little bit here. All right. So that's going to be my emote. <laughs> it's, it's dumb, <laughs> but hey, it's to prove a point, right? So we're going to take this wonderful, <laughs> wonderful picture of me. All right. So we're going to click this little auto button right here. Okay. The whole threshold similarity is going to determine like the background. So watch, like if I'm at 25, right? When I push down, it's gonna move the little red dot and then the target is what I wanna actually target. So you can see, I'm gonna select right here. I'm gonna go like that and remove some of it. Now if I, because I've already clicked it, if I increase the threshold, do that then there. And then if you didn't like that, you can always back off on that one click. So I actually like taking most of that off and get a little around the, around the hair, but that's all right. So then we're gonna go to this side. Here, you can get a little closer to the hair there. All right, cut off some of my hair, but that's all right. Now, if you wear glasses like me, it's gonna be hard to remove the green from the from the lens. But we're gonna try, all right? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it actually doesn't look too bad. But we can we'll, we'll make it a little better, right? So now we did that. Let's see. We want to just make my face. So we want to take the chair, shirt, everything off, right? So now I'm gonna click the black on the shirt. On the shirt. Hit the red, whatever that is. Blue there, I mean not the blue, the red there. The red, all right. So now I'm gonna hit manual, manual size. You can see that it just makes the, uh, it makes it a little bigger there. I'm gonna, I like to go with the biggest size first. Kind of close. I do this super quick. I don't want to take too long on it. See, now we got that. So now we're gonna kind of get rid of some of the neck area there. So we'll just kind of like follow the jawline there a little bit. Now, in case you want to undo this, you just hit the little back button right there or hit forward to redo it. And the cool thing is, is to say you did that and you're like, crap. I don't want a big hole in my cheek. You can actually just hit the repair button <laughs> and go back and you're done, right? So kind of got the green still in the hair, but that's okay because I'm going to show you why. So now that it's just my face, right? So when you hit done, okay, it's going to let you smooth out the image. So if you notice one, two, three, it's like reducing the green on my hair, right? You see that? Zero, five, uh, reduces it. I'm actually gonna go back 
because that didn't do as well as I wanted it to. You could just zoom in by just pinching your fingers. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see if we can get some more of this green out. Ooh, that's a little too much. <laughs> so I'll go manual now. Kind of. Again, guys, these are going to be emotes. So the cool thing with emotes, they're going to be very small. You're not going to notice a lot of these imperfections, all right? Now, again, my hair is really short. It's not normally this short. And when it's not normally this short, it is definitely not this hard to remove the green out. It's just because it's, it's at that... It's super small, so you can kind of see through it stage. So that's just kind of what's up with that. So now that we're there, zoom in, get a little more of the uh, green there from the face. And we're going to hit done. Now we're going to go to five, reduce that green. We're going to hit save. And just like that, we have a transparent picture of my face <laughs> being stupid. All right. So now that that's done, okay, we need another new app that I just got. It is a photo resizer. So once this loads, no thanks. I didn't pay for it. It's a free version. I'll put a link in the description below, guys. So we're going to select the photo. We're going to select my goofy ass face. We're going to hit resize, hit custom. All right, guys, so for Twitch emotes, we're looking at sizes between... 112 by 112 or 56 by 56 or 28 by 28 for YouTube and Discord. They're a little different, but again, this method will still work. You're looking at 18 by 18, 36 by 36, 72 by 72 for YouTube and then Discord does 32, 64, 128. So it's all about the same, but either way, once you make it, you just resize it to that, you're set. So we're going to stick with Twitch sizes just because that's the most common. So let's just do 56 by 56. So I'm going to type in here. Six. Six. I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to resize my face. Now you're going to notice it looks pixelated. Now again, you got to remember this is going to be like this big on the screen. So it's not going to look that blurry. It's just looking that blurry on this thing. So now it is saved. So all you would have to do basically is open up your gallery and it's going to be set there and saved. And then there's your remote. <laughs> so then you would take this and you can apply it from your phone directly onto the site or whatever have you. I'm going to apply this to Discord because unfortunately I'm not Twitch affiliated yet. So I can't specifically show you how to do that, but we're going to go there. <laughs> I just won life. That was a funny meme. We have a meme chat. Anyway, so in here, we're going to go to my channel. And we're going to go to server settings. And we got emoji. And we're going to upload emoji. And we're going to hit gallery. And we're going to click this goofy face <laughs> that I just did. We're going to hit OK. <laughs> And see, there you go. It's the goofy face emojis on the Discord. So guys on Discord, if you're wondering why that showed up randomly, it's because I was making this video. <laughs> but see, it doesn't look that bad now. You can see it in the in the corner there. See, that's exactly what the emoji is going to look like. And you could do this for anything, whether it be Minecraft chickens or you could take a picture off the internet, whatever have you. All you have to do is remove the background as I showed you, resize it. So I hope this tutorial has helped you. If it has, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, give me a like. If you can, if this is useful to you, please click that subscribe button. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, stick around because I got more coming. Check out the links in the description to help you out, make some custom thumbnails, add some Snapchat filters. You can even take a picture of yourself with a Snapchat filter and do the same emote. So you can even download something off the internet, whatever have you, it's that simple. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great rest of your day.